Thanks, Jill. Well, yesterday we had a lot of rain fall over the area. Some of us saw around an inch, some of us even exceeded an inch. I know Parisburg actually hit three inches of rainfall in just 24 hours. So even though we are starting off today dry, we do still hold on to the potential for some flooding. We are having a flood warning over portions of Summers, a little bit into Mercer, Monroe, as well as through Giles County until 3.30 tomorrow morning with County. This flood warning is going to continue until 3 a.m tomorrow morning. We are looking at our river levels and still most of the area sees to have the river levels falling but looking at the new river in Glen Lynn the current stage is a little over 15 feet. It's starting to fall slowly but it is having some minor flooding issues from this morning. New River at Hinton this one is near flood stage it's in the action level but we are seeing those levels fall as well as Greenbrier and Alderson. Our satellite and radar showing a dry start this morning. We are having a little bit of that cloud cover over top of us we're seeing the system creep into the area so looking at future cast when that comes up we will see that rain showers may be a little bit delayed. I do think these are going to come a little bit earlier than what Futurecast is showing, all because the system is a little bit quicker than what the model is picking up on. Today is going to be a cooler day than what we should be seeing for this time of year. Usually our highs are in the 60s. We'll only hit into the 40s and even the lower 50s for some spots. We will be dry to start though, but we will have a little bit of rain try to creep in for us this afternoon. And then eventually it's going to change over to some snowfall, especially into tonight where temperatures will dip down into the 30s. Expect some light accumulations, but it isn't going to be a big snow by any means. We have a freeze warning over Buchanan, McDowell, and Wyoming counties that'll be active until 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. It's going to start though at 2 a.m. tonight. Looking at future casts, we do see a little bit of a spotty shower in the afternoon, but I do think with that system, it's going to come a little bit quicker. So I do think we could see a little bit more rainfall in the afternoon, but then we will see a primary change from rain to snow by the overnight hours tonight. And then this is going to really taper off for us starting tomorrow morning. We'll actually have the sunshine quickly follow behind. A little bit of a cooler day once again is in store for our Wednesday where highs once again will be in the 40s and the 50s. And then we have another shot of some rain and some snow Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. Almost the same exact setup. Snow totals aren't impressive by any means. Most of us will only see a dusting to one inch. The higher elevations of Western Greenbrier and Pocahontas County could see roughly two to four inches, but still not a big snow, but could be a nuisance tonight and into tomorrow, especially with vegetation. And we do have the potential for some slick spots. As we're looking at the extended forecast, not noticing a big warm up, we're going to keep temperatures below average Friday we try to warm up into the 60s, but we still hold on to the chance for precipitation. Yesterday with the extended forecast, we showed that Saturday was going to be mostly dry. The system looks on Friday to be a little bit delayed. So that could push into our Saturday, giving it more of a soggy start to Saturday. I'm gonna send things back to you, Jill. Okay, so it's not a big snow, but it's still, it's making it not feel like spring, you know? You know, it's April. We don't really wanna be talking about snow, but it definitely happens here. Yeah, it does. Anything in Appalachia, right? 